And then you can get to the point where the further forward your hand goes, the less reaction you get from that steering. You know, if I, if I go forward with him, he should go over there and stay forward. If I draw my hand back and draw on him, he should come back. But you see where he's not broke enough yet to follow my hand back. He's kind of sticking there, you know, on that. See, if I pull too hard, you see how he goes to the right? Now, that's an interesting thing to talk about because, you know, I'll come straight there. If I pull him too hard, he's been, he's been pulled on the inside rein. So you can see my hands over here and he's been taught to go against this pressure on the right side of his face. So this is where you get into problems when you go to neck rein a young horse or teach them how to rein, that at some point, if you've done too much with your inside rein, you can see my hands way over to the left, you know, and he's totally confused because he thinks he's supposed to go into that pressure.